In this video, we'll be removing and programming all end stop positions for your GF electric actuator. Note, the open and closed position will be preset at the factory prior to shipping. Before powering up, confirm voltage of your power supply to the voltage rating on your actuator. Actuator model, model number, voltage rating, and current consumption. Tools we will need. Small flat tip screwdriver, T20 Torx driver, multimeter, wire nuts, and wire strippers. To remove the cover, use the T20 Torx driver. Inside, you'll find the LED light tube for visual indication and valve status. Seven segment display for identifying error codes and an integrated heater with adjustable settings. Teach buttons for programming and adjustments, control, and feedback terminals. Note, voltage to terminal one will rotate the actuator counterclockwise. Voltage to terminal two will rotate the actuator clockwise. Also, programming the actuator is a timed function. The unit will time out after 10 seconds of no activity. First, remove all programmed set points. To do this, press and hold set and CW for three to five seconds. The actuator will click and we should get a light green flashing LED. Note the E in the seven segment display. This is indicating an error in position. Now we're ready to program the end stops. To begin, press and hold the set button for three seconds. Note, the LED light tube is flashing blue and red. This is to program the open position. Press and release the set button and the light tube will flash blue and green. This is to set the close position. One more time, the light tube flash blue and white. This is to set the middle position. To set the open position, make the light tube flash blue and red. Using the CCW button, rotate the valve to the full open position. Then press and hold store. The actuator will click, acknowledging the setting. The open position has been programmed. We still show an error because we don't have a closed position set, so let's do that now. To set the closed position, press and hold the set button for three seconds. When it begins flashing blue and red, press and release it to change it to a flashing blue and green. While it's flashing blue and green, use the CW button to rotate the actuator to the full closed position. Then press and hold store. Currently, we have power to terminal one so the actuator is rotating back to the open position. Setting the optional middle position. Here you'll need the light tube flashing blue and white, depending on the direction that gets you to the middle position quickest. Use either the CW or CCW button and rotate the actuator to that position. Then press and hold store. Congratulations, you've programmed the end stops on your EA Series electric actuator. For more details, contact technical support at 800-854-4090 or email us at techservice at georgefisher.com.